Welcome, friends of the Crawford. I'm absolutely delighted to be doing a Cork About. It's ages since we've done one, and we're here and inside in our beautiful sculpture gallery. I have our chairperson, Etta Goulding, here on a very exciting night. It is our Christmas soiree, and I just want to say welcome, Etta, to the sculpture gallery. You're more than welcome, Michelle. Delighted to be here and really looking forward to a good night. We've had a fantastic year and I've been thinking about it um, over the last few weeks and it's really culminating in this event where a huge gathering of friends come together, some of whom haven't seen each other in a while and this is really a special evening for the friends. Without a doubt, Michelle, and, you know, after the hiatus of the past couple of years when we haven't been able to get together unless we were doing a walking tour, it's great to be actually back for a social event in the evening in the gallery. And as you say, what a wonderful space to kick off in. You've mentioned walking tour. Uh, we've had a lot of highlights this year, Etta. Do you want us to, do you want to just capture a few moments for us? Well, there were a lot that I, I really enjoyed, but I think the one that really stuck with me was the one we did close to home on that very wet morning where we got the history of the building itself and its environs and how it linked in with uh, the, the, battle, uh, the, the War of Independence and the role that this particular area, area played in that. And I mean, the fact that, you know, that there was such a huge population living here at the time that has dwindled and now it's working its way back again. I found that one that really stuck out with me. Now, Etta, for anyone who doesn't know, Etta is not only just the chair of the Friends Crawford, she is in fact our mixologist because over the, the Canova celebration, so we were celebrating the bicentenary of Antonio Canova, and Etta concocted a signature cocktail. Do you want to tell us a little bit? And I'm not asking you to disclose the recipe now because I know that that is a secret. Well, you also know what the recipe is because I can't take the full blame for it. Um, I mean, the background story was you came up with the idea. We were going to have a Prosecco reception. You thought it would be lovely if we could get something to match the colour of the, the gallery here that backs the Canova casts. And of course, being somebody who is partial to a drop or two on occasion, I was the one who knew what would mix. And we had a tasting session to see if we got the colour right. And I believe we did. And it's become our signature colour now. I believe it was talked about the length and breadth of Cork City. And that was only one of the events. Um, it's delighted to see the membership after growing as well, Etta, over the past year. Um, a lot more people coming back in to join. And that's a very exciting time for friends. Well, it is because, I mean, with COVID, you could appreciate people, you know, not, um, you know, paying their subs and that. And that was understandable because a lot of people don't live in town and couldn't get into the walking tours. But it's great to see this year now that we're back, we're back with a vengeance and we've had a 60% increase or renewal of memberships. And we've had some new members as well. And I think that's wonderful and it bodes well for the future of the Friends. Well, thank you very much. It's fantastic to get um, all of the insights of what the friends have been up to from our chair, who has literally rolled up her sleeves and put the hard graft in. And, and not to forget our committee members who've done such a fantastic job. Rosalie is, is, is here very close by. And uh, we're all looking forward to a fantastic evening. If you were able to hear behind me, we've got the musicians starting up. I'm going to do a little recording of them to share with you, because I think it's really nice for those who couldn't make it. And just a few Christmas words from our chair. Well, all I can say is Nolik Fehenis Fewashi of Galera. We look forward to seeing you in the new year. She made that look so easy, just rolled off her tongue. Thank you so much, Etta, and have a fantastic Christmas, friends. We're so looking forward to getting back into all the events that are going to be kicking off again in January. Don't forget, the gallery is open all the way through Christmas and We've a lovely new Harry Clark exhibition opening this Wednesday. Michael's been working very hard on it. And don't forget to come in and uh, enjoy the space through the rest of the season. Thank you, friends. The scenes as well next door, which is, I've only dipped into it once, but I have to take a bit more time in the run-up to Christmas. Fantastic exhibition. And Michael has given us a great mention in it. So a big thank you to Michael. Thank you to Michael. Fantastic. Have a lovely Christmas and we'll see you all again, friends.